I've seen lasers before we played with them. I've never actually had to set one up. I always had uh, an engineer fella who was there. I'm gonna have to make a phone call to these dudes and be like, hey, I got it plugged in, now what? So I made my phone call, Chris. And Viola, the Denali Well Jet 2000. Made the phone call, they made me feel safe. A little bit stupid because everything's labeled. I will say, it's taken a lot longer Definitely. for you to weld that than the laser. It's kind of obvious. We'll really see when it comes to that penetration. We've got all six of our coupons here, the carbon steel, the stainless steel, and the aluminum TIG coupons, and the carbon stainless and the aluminum laser coupons. We're gonna take it over to the bandsaw to get the cross section of each one of these coupons, and then took a torch to it. I wanted to make sure that there was no alcohol in the little crack of this lap joint because I think that was giving me some issues on the carbon steel. So once the stainless steel was done and etched, you could really start to see that weld nugget in the weld metal. TIG and laser had very close to the same weld size. It's just cool to see the different results that you get. I would probably say that the laser definitely penetrated deeper into that metal for sure. 